Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel at Bobby's Girl Tarot 444. These are going to be general uh, love messages. That's my intention is to be a love reading for the sign of Scorpio for the week of February 21st. So take what res messages resonate for you, Scorpio, for your love situation, okay? Or your love connections, or just I'm going to try and pick up what messages I can, what's going on in your life right now, or any advice, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a person that's a, a Scorpio or they could have Scorpio in their chart. So only apply what messages are needed for you in your current situation. Okay. Let's get started. Scorpio. I've got a lot of, uh, cards here. I want to pull for you. All right. We got message here for your focus card. So you could have messages coming in. You're waiting on a message. Some of you could be writing letters. Okay. You could be doing a journaling at this time. Okay. Focusing on maybe cleaning your office. I hear some of you cleaning out your desk, doing a little spring cleaning around the house. Uh, a lot of phone calls, uh, emails, text that are going to be coming in if they have not already came in. This is um, also about being prepared for these messages that are coming, whether they're positive or negative, because, you know, a seven could be a warning for you. OK, so pay attention to the messages that are coming into you and uh, prioritize them by importance. OK. So take what resonates from that, leave what does not, Messaging messages here between your person, maybe you're writing a love letter or you're writing your person a poem, you know, uh, it's going to be different for everybody. This is came out, this card came out for the last couple of signs here, came out for Virgo, I think it came out for Gemini, so I think it came out for Capricorn, so just check um, the other signs, the other videos I've done, there may be messages there for you, okay, so it's depending on what placement that you're in in the moment. Are you in your Capricorn energy? Are you in the Scorpio energy? Because we all have different placements in our charts. All right, so we do have two sevens here. Like I feel like this is warning. This message could be around deception and envy. Somebody that's very envious of you or of your connection. Maybe sending ill words in this message. Maybe a little anger. So just be prepared that when you get this message, you know, that, you know, to prioritize that, you know, uh, in with your needs and how that fits into your life, how you, how you receive this message. So, okay, make sure that there is a positive reception. That's what I'm getting to. Especially if there's a lot of deceiving, if you know your person has a tendency to be deceptive or to be envious, or if there's others around your person that are deceptive and envious, okay? So I'll just take these four that came out. Well, we have five that came out for you. I'm just going to take them for you, Scorpio, because obviously these are messages you need to hear. So we have triumph, okay? At, look at this. I can't make this up. Seven, seven, seven. Three sevens. That's warning. Pay attention to red flags. It's also making sure that, you know, you are aligned with yourself to be able to handle the information that's coming forward to you. Okay. Oh, so seven, seven, seven. If you've been seeing that, this could be for you. We also have nine out here. I have 97, 79. I have an eight. I have uh, 16 and that breaks down to another seven. I've got four sevens on the board for you, Scorpio. So definitely, uh, paying attention, being aware of your surroundings, being aware of your thoughts right now. Some of you are suffering in silence, not saying anything. Maybe it's this person that hasn't said anything yet because they are writing down their thoughts, wanting to send you this message, whether it's through the mail or emails or text or uh, if they give you a phone call here. So just take these messages. This person or you are suffering in silence right now, not able to put their thoughts onto paper to be able to give you this message. We have positive movement forward, though. You know, we're sailing along, moving forward. Some of you are done with this connection, especially with all these warnings, depending on what happened in your connection here. So positive movement forward, thinking more positively, thinking more clearly, also seeing that light at the end of the tunnel, knowing that, you know, it's going to better days are coming here, right? We do have the disruption card coming out. So knowing that um, triumph over these uh over these disruptions, okay? I feel like this is coming out. The triumph is coming. 
above here. So you're having triumph over all these disruptions, what's causing you blockages um, in your connections, okay? Whether this is romantic, platonic, okay? Whatever's going on in your situation right now, know that you're going to triumph over that. But these obstacles are only temporary. These disruptions are only temporary here. Um, positive movement forward, you know, getting away from this envy and deception. I'm going to pull one more card. I'm going to look at the bottom here. Hope. Don't give up hope, okay? Knowing that there's that light at the end of the tunnel, things are going to get better. Better days are coming. You know, here comes the sun. I don't know if that song is significant for someone. Here comes the sun. Do, do, do. Here comes the sun, I say, it's all right. That song, okay? So that can be significant for you. I've got two eights here and four sevens. So that's obviously uh, a very important information for somebody out there to, you know, not give up hope, knowing that even when you feel like there's no hope left, that there is still some hope in the bottom of that jar, right? So take these as they resonate for you. Yellow could be a significant color for you. It's staying happy, staying positive, you know, um, making sure that those those negative thoughts are, you know, you're pushing those away. You're not focusing on that. So let's get some tarot here on your person. Tell me a little bit about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. Okay, this may be some information about you also. So I'm going to pull like three or four cards here. Tell me what sign this person is that Scorpio is dealing with. All right, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is about truce. It could be a truce, but I said truth. About clarity and truth and information coming to you. Yes, this could be from an air sign. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is messages. So this person wanting to send a message, wanting to give clarity, wanting to give a truth. All right. And we have the queen of wands here. Someone that is a uh, very loyal, very independent, a go-getter, very fiery, very passionate, very creative. Um, she may be uh, highly intuitive, a little witchy, you know, feel like she uh, has gifts, okay, to, to give to the world. She's a leader. She's a boss, could be an entrepreneur that you could be waiting on these messages, okay, from this person, or you could be giving these messages, you know, Pick which end you're on. You're on the giving end or the receiving end of the truth here. Some of you may be connecting with animals right now, you know, just nurturing your pets. And, um, you know, the pets give off unconditional love. So being closeness with the nature, um, that's very nurturing to you, especially if she's single. If she's a single woman, single independent woman. She's just, uh, it's just her and her pets right now. And her or him, just because it's a queen of wands here does not mean there we're dealing with a queen. It could be a king, okay? So we got uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for signs for you that you could be dealing with or you can have these in your chart. new beginning and also want to come in the reverse. So maybe there's some worry around a gift or a new beginning here starting. I'm going to take it sideways here. So there's worry around this new beginning and there's offers and, and options. Maybe you're feeling a little dissatisfied or discontent around a new beginning, an offer. Maybe it's not the deal that you were looking for. Or it's not the connection you're looking for, relationship here you're looking for. Maybe there's a fear of some type of rejection around you. Let's get... This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A lot of aces came out. I think with the last reading I did for Capricorn, they had the ace of swords and they had an ace of wands. And now Scorpio's got the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles. So we have celebrations. This could also be a third party situation being involved around these new beginnings, around truth and around money, um, time, energy. That may be the messages that you're getting here. From this Queen of Wands, this could be also family, um, this could be sisters, this could be uh, uncles, cousins, or aunts, cousins, uncles. Take it as it resonates. It's more than three people celebrating, having a good time, you know, depending on how you're having a good time. 
could be the, uh, some drinking, doing some, you know, heavily indulging, overindulging. And it could be around this emperor here. And this emperor could be, could be Aries here that your person is, or they have Aries in their chart, or you can have Aries in your chart. But these are both leaders. This could be the same person also, this queen of wands and this emperor. You could be this person, this boss, this leader, this working on being dependable and independent, uh, you know, balancing your finances, working on a new beginning and uh, bringing truth and clarity to the situation. Let's see. One more. Okay, having strength right now because you're wounded, okay? You've been the battle. This is the wounded warrior car card. I feel like it, maybe you may be on a little def defense. It could be around a third party situation. Maybe there's no communication in your connection right now. This is requiring you a lot of strength to be able to stand on your own, okay? Uh, letting go of codependent individuals if there was codependency or letting go of things that no longer serve you here, okay? Could be dealing with a Leo. Um, I've got Leo twice here. We've got Aries, like I said, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And a little bit of Sagittarius. So only take what resonates for you, your situation, and leave the rest, okay? So let's get some um, island or um, romantic angels, sorry, <laughs> advice for you for love and romance. And whether you're with your person or you're not, you're looking for a new love to come in. Maybe you're not going back to a past person or an ex. Take that as it resonates. We have wedding here. So this definitely could involve marriage. You could be married to this person. Um, just a, You could be in a long-term commitment and engagement, something that is uh, tangible here, something that lasts, okay? This is also a person that may want to send you a message about, you know, going to a higher level of commitment. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. They're saying to keep an open mind. Your uh, soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation, especially if there was uh, some third-party situations here um, and, you know, or other involvements in your connection here, healing through those trauma bonds, those family issues, those generational patterns and behaviors. So working through that, keeping an open mind, you know, because your soulmate may be different from your usual type. This person may not, you know, like, attract, like, or... They may not be like that. It may be different. Opposites attract situation for you here, Scorpios. Okay, we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And we have new love coming in. So whether this is a past person or this is an ex, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. It very well could be a new chapter for you. Turning the page, you know, starting a brand new beginning. You've already met the partner that you seek. Like I said, whether it's past or an ex, it is a new love. And we have engagement. So yeah, like I said, either engagement or wedding, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Maybe you're in separation with your person right now. Maybe you're on a break. I don't know. But take these messages only as they resonate for you. This person may, may also be interested in working with their hands. They may do some type of craft work here. They may be into like uh, sewing, uh, you know, making outfits, fashion. Fashion here is big, like uh, making dresses, a seamstress type for uh, the women. As for the men, I feel like a, a more traditional job that this person has. They could be a boss. They could have their own business. They could be an entrepreneur. And that's not going to be for everyone. But uh, they're a little more reserved. Yet they they have control over, uh, over their life right now. They're just a little uh, laid back and reserved here. And we have attraction. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So stopping and smelling the roses here. Enjoying living in the moment. All right, let's get some uh, Island Wellness for you. Scorpio, what advice? All right, we have truth and clarity coming out with that Ace of Swords. This is the sword and the rose, the truth, the clarity. Coming to a, a, a revelation here, right? We also have things moving forward, things changing. We're doing healing. We're working through our childhood traumas, okay? 
connect with that dragonfly. This is also your ancestors helping you. You know, maybe you have asked for some help from above, you, you know, to, to get through this situation, to make it through this connection here. So uh, a lot of healing and transforming, adapting to changes in your life, adapting, you know, uh, that hard truth that you've had to uh, realize here, you know, and moving past that, you know, what it is what it is. This is the way it happened. This is the way it was supposed to happen and moving forward. Okay. So we have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, and separation. We feel like uh, you were deceived, that you feel like you were attacked. You were stabbed in the back. All right, I'll let, I'll take these three or four, and that will be it for you, I think, on here. Uh, heartbroken, yeah, someone is sad and heartbroken because this connection is over. They're grieving. They're feeling the loss of it. Uh, working through, like I said, the healing those family traumas, making better choices for, um, for yourself in love and in your life, you know, choosing to love yourself more and be happier. Um, we do have the photos coming out. So somebody looking at your photos, somebody reminiscing. This could be an ex, past person. This could be your energy here. Just, uh, you know, having that nostalgia. Someone does like you, though, and they want to let you know. Love is blooming. You know, things are changing and transforming. We have the heart with the key. So welcoming love and meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. So somebody has a key to your heart. You could be meeting the one. The one for you, maybe the next person to come in, whether it's a past person or not, that could be the one for you and you're just in the waiting game right now. So let's get a couple of these uh, romance angels for you. Scorpio. Okay, we have life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads. So it's asking you to go with the flow. Life is a series of choices and what we choose, there's no wrong path, but we learn lessons, whichever path we do choose to go down. Each one is a learning experience for us, whether it's good or it's bad here, okay? So that's what they're saying here to you. And when you resist that that flow, it uh, it also puts, it puts us back even more, right? So we have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there will, there you will find true bliss. So this is a sexual union. There is a lot of chemistry here, a lot of attraction in this connection. You may be getting messages about that also. This could be a, a love letter, like I said, you know, something intimate, a DM, somebody slips you. This is when you pass from this world, you take nothing from you, but your soul and the memories you have shared with those that you love. Yeah, because... The material things we can't take with us. All we take is our soul and the love that we have for our person that is passed over, that is gone. So, um, you know, we don't have a lot of time while we're here. It's using our time wisely and being happy, sharing our love. It says, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events of your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So yeah, we don't necessarily understand why things happen, you know, and you constantly question, you know, I don't understand why this is happening to me, but you have to realize that, you know, there's a choice that you make and every choice comes with a consequence, whether it's good or bad, you know, and even though we don't understand it, it happens for us and it doesn't happen to us. That's the mentality they're asking you to see here. It's happening for you to make you learn something. So you don't go back down that same path. You don't take that, make that choice again, you know, because otherwise you haven't learned your lesson if you keep going back and making that same choice over and over, right? So let's get some, I got some um, cards here pulled from your person, from my love deck, the good, the bad, and the ugly, what your person would want to say to you here, Scorpio. I almost said Virgo, so maybe you're dealing with a Virgo too, okay? Um. So yeah, take what resonates from this deck. Like I said, I don't know, good, bad, to ugly. I meditated, pulled your cards for you and just set them aside. We have taking a break. Okay, so maybe this person feels like you're on a break right now. You know, there's some type of unfinished business between the both of you. You know, things didn't end on a good note. So just take that as it resonates. We have old flame, past relationship. This could be an old flame of yours, a past relationship of yours. Okay, uh, your person could have been dealing with an old flame or a past relationship. Okay, 
we have warning coming out. So you do have some warning signs. We had four sevens come out for you here. Definitely pay attention to red flags. If this person returns, it's a past person or an ex. Could be a new one. I don't know. We have I miss you so much. Third party situation with that three of cups came out. Definitely third party um, involvement, whether it's friends, family, lovers, you know, take that as it resonates. More than one more than two people, more than you and your person were involved in your connection, okay? We have lingerie coming out, somebody liking uh, you dress up, sexually like to be enticed, okay? They like that temptation here. We have uh, save me, I need you right now. So your person is saying, I, I need you. This is a past person to X, okay? Maybe you're saying that, save me, I need you. But this is, like I said, pay attention to those warnings because with four sevens out here, that is a, a big thing. We have cheating and infidelity. So this person could have cheated on you. They could have, there could be some infidelity issues or some trust issues here. Uh, they don't want to see us happy together. So somebody that doesn't want you to see you and your person reconnect. We have zip it up. So somebody that can't keep it in their pants, whether male or female here, because of doing to, due to infidelity and cheating and a broken trust. Okay. We have things moving too fast. I don't know how to trust how I feel for you. Okay, this person doesn't know how to trust themselves. So how are they able to trust another person if they can't trust their own self and their own skin, right? So this is what they're uh, this is what they're saying. Sunrise, sunset. So maybe there is a significance here with the sunrise and sunset, or it's just day and night with this person. Okay, they also could be like the yin to your yang if they're, um, you know, opposite the track type type deal here. This is not going to be for everyone. All right, we have, I want to have a family with you. This person is saying that they do want to have a family with you. If they don't already, they do want to have a baby here. I remember everything about the first time we met. So they are reminiscing, looking back, doing some outdated thinking here over the first time that you connected here and what transpired, okay? We have trust. They had definitely trust issues, but this person cannot trust themselves. So how can uh, they have trust in another individual? if they are uncomfortable in their own skin. And we have Sagittarius energy here. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or you could have Sagittarius in your chart. I saw 2222 on the clock when I said that. So yeah, take these messages only as they resonate for you and your situation and leave the rest. Let's get some characteristics and personality traits of your person, Scorpio. Um, this is just a little extra information to let you know what your person could be like, what to look for, okay? Uh, Scorpios. Okay, so this person could have a lot of distractions going on right now. And if we had the distraction card come out. We've got long hair. That's twice the distractions come out. So there's definitely a lot going on behind the scenes with uh, your person, whether it's a past person, an ex, or a new person. Uh, we have attentive. So this person very attentive. Even though they got a lot of distractions going on around them right now, people or um, things in their way, okay, challenges. We have coach, so this person could be a coach, could be a life coach, they could coach a team. Uh, they could also be just somebody that you look up to, okay, somebody that has good advice, I'm hearing. Someone that's wise, we have stamina coming out. So this uh, person does have a lot of stamina, thrift shops. This person may go to thrift shops. They like to yard sales, garage sales, flea markets, stuff like that, okay? They're really into stuff like that. We have mis mixed match clothing. So they don't normally uh, dress accordingly. They just put on whatever. They don't care if they got two different mis mixed matched socks. I can't even talk right now. Um, they don't care if one has like a, a Looney Tunes on one sock and the other sock has Super Mario Brothers. They don't care what they wear. You know, they don't care if they ain't got no underwear on. Like, cause this person may not walk around with any underwear. They may like to free ball it. That's just a, uh, <laughs> that was just a, a side note for you here, uh, Scorpio. We have extrovert, somebody that's, you know, more outgoing, you know. We got pillow talk, somebody that likes to lay at night and have some conversation with you. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have 
preparation, somebody that's making preparations to come to either come into you if it's a new love here, if it's an ex or past lover, they're making preparations, they're making some type of plans. There's a lot of distractions though that are holding them back right now. This is theme parks, so this person may like going to theme parks, they might like the that excitement, the thrill, okay. Like roller coasters, they just like the thrill of it. They have lighthouses here. Someone that likes to travel to, I'll see here like uh, Maine. So I don't know if that's like somebody up there, like New Hampshire, Maine. So they like like the upper uh, panhandle of the U.S. Okay, no drama. So this person does not like drama. They don't like to deal with it. They cut it out. Maybe that's why they're removing those distractions. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Definitely Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. You had Sagittarius come out here. So definitely a fire sign and spontaneous. Someone that just does things on the spur of the moment. Doesn't really try and put a lot of thought into it. Even though they're saying that they make, excuse me, they're making preparations. They like to be spontaneous. Maybe they like you to be spontaneous also. This person can have one more than one vehicle. It could have hazel or brown eyes. You could have hazel or brown eyes. They could be sneaky. Could be due to them just being a little spontaneous, you know, being fun, being excited, you know, just like the thrill of the excitement. I don't know. It's like, I just get like that charge feeling like charge. Like they don't care. They like the fun of it. All right. We have kid at heart. Somebody that likes to be a kid at heart. Wearing their heart on their sleeve here. I also hear that too. They also want to. Uh, they also want you to make their wand rise if you're a, a female, and uh, they like that milk and honey from the females. But for the men, it's making their wand rise. So they do. They uh, they want you to do that. Okay security okay it's someone that you can feel very secure very safe with that's just another side note for you they want you to make their wand rise up and they also want to uh make the the juices flow here we have cartoons like i said looney tunes super mario brothers maybe they're into video games or something here we have animal lovers someone that uh, like animal crossings i hear so somebody could be into that uh, computer games or um VR, virtual reality, I'm hearing too. So this person could be into that. Take what resonates for you. Leave what does not. Let's get you a couple of these love cards here. The whispers of love for Scorpio. I wrap this up. All right, we have simple act of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So they're asking you to do a simple act of kindness, whether this is a kind gesture, a handshake, a phone call, a hug, okay? Something that's simple, offering help, a helping hand. Also being close to animals. This person is an animal lover. This person may be very kind to other individuals. I also feel like connecting. They like to be outside. They like to be outdoors. They like to absorb the sun, absorb that vitamin D, right? This person may have a lot of pets. We have five coming out. This is about changing, changing your perspective. Deciding to be kind instead of being rude or mean or angry, okay, or hateful towards another uh, romantic per partner, okay, or towards other individuals here. So just being kind. And they're saying relationship patterns here. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. I just said change. Okay. This could also be about your inner child, nurturing this inner child. Um, and looking into these relationship patterns. What have you been attracting to you? You know, is it negative? Has it been positive? Have you been able to move past these patterns? Or are you attracting the same want, the same thing? the same types of relationship, the same types of individuals, right? Male or female. So it takes strength to recognize the need for this change here, knowing that, you know, this is not right for me. I deserve something better. 
Number 32 could be significant. That's another five, two fives. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. So like being more loving. And this is also with yourself first. Giving that love, that cup of love to you before you're able, you know, filling your, your cup of love up before you're able to overflow it to other individuals and, you know, be kind and change this relationship pattern or dynamic um, to a positive. And using those loving, kind words to, to, to allow these changes, right? To bring forth a change. So hopefully these res uh, messages resonated for you, Scorpio. If they did, please leave me a comment below and let me know. I do appreciate all your love and support for my channel, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.